Hi, it's Handy Andy here. Now, have you ever wanted to convert a media file without using a bloated conversion utility? Well, in this video, I'll show you how to add some options to your Windows Explorer right-click menu. These will allow you to convert between formats using FFmpeg, a very popular and open source utility. Just a word of warning before we get started. This tutorial involves a couple of minor edits to the registry. If you follow my instructions, nothing much should go wrong, but just be careful, okay? So the first step is to download FFmpeg if you don't already have it. Simply go to ffmpeg.org, click on this download button, then on the next page, just scroll down a bit until you find the packages section. Hover over the Windows icon, and then click on the Windows Builds link. Okay, on this page, you need to make one change before downloading the build. See how when you hover over these versions, one of them says release build and the other is a nightly build? For the best results, you wanna select the release build, which is 4.1 at the moment. So click on that and then click download build. Save the zip file somewhere on your PC and then extract its contents to the root directory of your hard drive. In this case, drive C. The last thing that we have to change is that that folder name looks a bit unwieldy. So let's just remove the 4.1 Win64 stuff and just call it FFmpeg. Now we come to the second step, which is adding the context or right click menu item. Now you can do pretty much anything with FFmpeg. You can convert between different video codecs. You can convert from one audio format to another. You can even extract the audio from a video. But for now, we're going to add an option when we right click on a WAV file. This option will allow us to convert the file to an MP3. Open your plain text editor of choice like Notepad or Notepad++ and begin a new file. We're going to write a registry entry. We'll begin with this line, Windows Registry Editor version 5.00. We then need to specify inside square brackets where this entry will be located. It will be in HKey classes root and then system file associations. That's where items pertaining to a specific file extension are stored. And of course we want it to apply to WAV files, so we'll put .wav there. And we want it to be an option in the Windows shell or user interface. We're going to group everything related to this item under the name of convert to MP3. All right, so under the main key, we need to put one piece of data, which is the name that we want displayed in the menu. When I right click, I want to be able to select convert to MP3. So we'll set that value here. Now we're going to put in the command in other words, what should happen when I click convert to MP3? So copy that line, paste it down here and add backslash command to the end of it. Now we're going to run a batch script which will do our conversion for us using FFmpeg. And the command takes two arguments. One is the path to the batch file that we want to run. And the second is the file that we actually want to convert. Its path is automatically provided by Windows. So first, let's put the path to the batch script, even though it doesn't exist yet, but we'll make it later, don't worry. Now going back to this example for a minute, you'll notice that both of these items need to be quoted, but also the entire thing needs to have quotes around it. So to put quotes inside quotes, we use a backslash. Just do an outside quote in the ordinary way, and then put a quote inside with the backslash. We're going to put our batch script in the FFmpeg folder. So it'll be C colon, and here we need to use two backslashes because the backslash is an escape for the quotes. So backslash backslash FFmpeg backslash backslash convert to mp3.bat and then a closing quote. Now inside the second pair of quotes, we need to put this percentage one thing, which remember will be replaced with the name of the file that we are converting. So put that there and then close that pair of quotes and then close the surrounding quotes. You're going well, there's just one more part to step two. We have to save this file as a .reg file. Make sure to put .reg, the extension is important. So convert to mp3.reg. 
when you save the file, it should have this little block icon on it. And when you double click on it and run it, it will give you a security warning and then it will ask you whether you really want to add the information to the registry. So click yes on that and look, it's been added. Now for step three, we need to make the batch file and luckily that's pretty simple. Just make a new plain text file and type the path to FFmpeg. So that's C FFmpeg bin FFmpeg.exe. And then we need to provide the path of the file to convert. So we just do in quotes, percentage tilde one. Next, specify the audio codec. So dash C colon A, and we're going to use libmp3 lame, which is a high quality MP3 encoder. The bit rate is, guess what, provided by dash B colon A, B for bit rate, and it's 320 kilobits constant. The last part is perhaps the trickiest. We're going to specify the output file name. So we're going to enclose it in quotes and we're going to start with percentage tilde D1. That is actually the drive letter of the place where the original file is located. And then P1 is the path of the original file and N1 is the name of the original file. So we're basically putting the MP3 in exactly the same location as the WAV. I think this file is done. All we need to do now is save it under C FFmpeg, just in this folder right here, and call it convertmp3.bat. Hey, good work, we're done. Try right clicking on a WAV file now, click convert to MP3, and it will open up a command prompt window and start converting. It even works for multiple files. I'll select the top three here. And as you can see, it opens up three command prompt windows and starts converting them simultaneously. Remember, I've only shown you how to implement one simple conversion. There's heaps of stuff that you can do with FFmpeg. You just need to do a little bit of research. Anyway, I hope this video has taught you a couple of interesting things. I'm Handy Andy. Thank you for watching and please subscribe if you found this helpful.